What if I told you that right now, as you're watching this video, there's a 90% chance that at least one of your passwords has already been compromised in a data breach? Yes. And what if I told you that the password you used for that shopping site last week, the one you've reused on a couple of other accounts, might already be in a database that attackers are using right now to break into systems just like yours? Today we're going to walk through exactly how these attacks happen using brute force techniques. But here's what makes this different. We're not just focusing on the technical how, we're uncovering the why behind why these attacks work so well. Why certain passwords fall quickly, why some attacks succeed where others fail, and most importantly, why understanding this could be what saves your digital identity. But before we get practical, I need to make this clear. The techniques demonstrated today are for educational and authorized penetration testing purposes only. Unauthorized access to computer systems is illegal and can result in severe legal consequences. Only perform these tests on systems you own or have explicit written permission to test. So what makes brute force attacks so dangerously effective? It comes down to three brutal truths about digital security. First, it's a pure numbers game. Tools like Hydra can attempt hundreds, even thousands of login attempts per minute. While you're reading a single email, an attacker could have tried every common password variation against your account. The sheer volume is overwhelming by design. Second, we humans are painfully predictable. The same passwords appear in breach after breach. One, two, three, four, five, six, password, admin. Attackers know this and build word lists specifically targeting human behavior. They know you might add a one at the end, or use your pet's name followed by your birth year. Third, and this is the real killer, password reuse. That same password you used for a gaming forum that got breached last year? Attackers will try it against your email, your banking, your SSH servers. One breach becomes a master key for your entire digital life. So it's not the sophisticated zero-day exploits that compromise most systems. It's the simple brute force attacks that exploit basic human nature and lazy security habits. Okay. Let's start by preparing our environment. We have our attacker machine running Kaylee Linux. Fire up your terminal and type sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade y. This ensures we have all the latest security patches and tool updates. Now let's check if Hydra is available on our system. Hydra isn't just another hacking tool. It's one of the most powerful and versatile password cracking utilities ever created and comes pre-installed in Kali Linux. If you're following along on another distribution, you can install it with sudo apt install Hydra. For my case, I will run Hydra-H to learn more about its capabilities. What makes Hydra so special? It isn't limited to just one service. It can attack over 50 different protocols, including SSH, FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, databases, email services. If it has a login page, Hydra can probably attack it. This versatility and ability to launch multiple attack threads simultaneously makes it a one-stop shop for everyone. For today's demonstration, we'll be brute forcing remote login into our machine running SSH. First, we need the IP address of our target. Type ifconfig on the terminal and take note of the IP address. In our case, it's 192.168.1.9. Back to our attack Kaylee machine. When we try to SSH into the target machine normally, we get rejected because we don't know the password. See that? We can't get in with all our guesses. This is exactly where most people would hit a wall but this is where Hydra turns that wall into a doorway. Now for the heart of any brute force attack, the word list containing passwords to try. Kaylee Linux comes with massive word lists located in slash USR slash share slash word lists. There's fasttrack.txt, which contains commonly used passwords. And then there's the famous rock u.txt. If we unzip it with sudo gunzip and view the content, we can see an endless list of passwords. If we count the number of lines, there are over 14 million passwords in this file alone. But for our demonstration, let's create a targeted custom list to save time. I'll create a file with touchpass.txt, then enter several passwords, with one of them being the correct password for our login. No need to create a list of users since we already know our target username. Now for the Hydra command, first we'll run Hydra followed by dash L to specify the username Dugsec then dash p with the password list we created, then ssh colon slash slash 192.168.1.9, and we'll add dash v for verbose mode. Finally, hit enter. 
and boom. There we have the login credentials. The password for Doug Sec is let me in. Now we can SSH into our target machine to verify we have access. Let's create a text file right here to confirm our access. Now when we head over to the target machine, we can see the subscribe.txt file we just created. All right, there you have it. What we demonstrated today with Hydra represents just one layer of the password cracking landscape. While we focused on common passwords and dictionary attacks, it's crucial to understand that attackers have even more sophisticated methods at their disposal. Beyond tools like Hydra, there are advanced techniques that can crack even more complex passwords, like rainbow table attacks. We'll cover these in future videos. The frightening reality is that unless you're using truly random long passwords, you're potentially vulnerable. So what concrete steps should you take right now? First, embrace password managers. Tools like Bitwarden, LastPass, or 1Password generate and store strong, unique passwords for every account. Second, enable two-factor authentication everywhere. 2FA adds that critical second layer of protection that brute force attacks can't overcome. And third, practice digital hygiene. Check have I been pawned.com to see if your accounts have been compromised in breaches. Be mindful of what personal information you share online that could be used in targeted attacks. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, stay curious, stay secure, and I'll see you in the next video.